Pay attention, Brian. I'm going to show you actually how to do the layout of the streamers. Cut your flawed end off. That's quality control. I just make a little tick here on the first rise, which technically is not really the rise. Here's the first run. That's the ticket right there. So here's where we're starting. Now, I take my square, put it on there, line it up with that little tick I made. Boom. That's actually the back of the stringer now. This is where we start. All this is garbage. Because I'm going to be removing an inch and a half from here to put a 2x8 framing tread on, this happens to be an inch and a half wide, so I just line that up there. Cut this out. Here's where we take our hypotenuse jig. In this case, we're doing four risers. This deck is going to be the top rise, so we only need three on the, on the stringer here. This I'm doing just to act as um, a barrier between me and messing this thing up. So now we know that our rise and run have to fit in between these ticks. So we line it up so the rise, look here, the tick is here and the tick is here. A lot of people might be confused with me using that. That is not to replace the math that we've already done. That is just to help us work inside some boundaries to make sure that we're consistent all the way. Okay, so here's one step, two steps. Three steps. Okay, so now we need our last rise. Line these up correctly. Now, this is going from the frame to the finish, right? So we're landing on the finish, so we need to reduce the thickness of the stair tread, of the decking, of the flooring, whatever you call it. You need to remove that thickness, okay? So mark that thickness on your square. Run down to it. Now you have an intersection there. Put your square like this on this side. Always use your square wherever possible to keep your lines honest. The square, you'd be surprised. You move it around, you get a lot done with it. Okay? And that's it. That's marked out. So this is garbage. This is garbage. I just want to make this clear. This is garbage. And you're going to be cutting that here. So once you take your saw, you cut this out. And now you have your stringer. You can trace it to make six, seven, however many you need. Or you can keep doing this method if you want absolute consistency. If you do decide to trace your stringers, choose one stringer, your first stringer only and make sure you just trace that one. Don't trace your second one, don't trace your third one because then you will go off eventually. And uh, the other trick is uh, make sure after you cut your first stringer, you dry fit it, make sure it works before you trace it eight or nine times because that would be catastrophic.